What's up guys, this is Isaac from Tech2 here, and today we're going to be bringing you another tutorial. Before we get started, I just want to say, uh, feel free to check out our site here, tech2dev.com. Uh, here is where we, uh, you can be linked to our YouTube channel and you can learn about our two new apps that we're working on. And uh, get updates on anything else we're doing. So, without further ado, let's get started. So today we're going to be uh, fixing a sluggish Windows start menu. Um, sometimes you click down here, it won't pop up, uh, things don't really load, you know, stuff like that. It's slow. So uh, first things first, let's go down to the search and we're going to type in control panel. Uh, open that up and we're going to go in the top right here. Yours will show up like this. And we're going to type in performance. And then underneath system, click adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And then we're going to um, come under the advanced tab and we're going to come under virtual memory. Click the change button and uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Now you want to select your main hard drive. Mine is C, yours probably will be too and we're going to uh, select custom size. Um, for our initial size and maximum size, I'm going to set two gigabytes. Now, this, uh, these numbers are in megabytes, so this comes out to be two gigabytes. And what you want to do is look down here when you're setting these numbers. Um, currently allocated, so that's what mine's currently set at, is uh, 1920. Um, the recommended for mine is 1885, but that's lower, so I'm not going to do that. I want to set a little bit more uh, paging file memory to that. Um, you can look this up online, or if your recommended is higher than your allocated, definitely set it to your recommended. Um, now, a lot of people ask, should your initial size and your maximum size be the same? And the answer to that question is yes. Um, Setting the paging file's initial size and maximum size to the same value increases efficiency because um, the operating system does not need to expand the file during processing. So you want to keep them the same. Um, and setting different values for the initial and maximum size can also contribute to disk fragmentation, which can slow your, your computer down. So. Once you've got your values in here, make, make sure they're the same. Um, then what you want to do is click set and then click OK. I'm not going to because what happens is then it will bring up a uh, prompt saying you need to restart your computer to make these changes. You click OK and your computer will restart. So um, once you're done with that, your start menu should pop up, um, it should be faster, you should have everything good to go and no problems. You should have no longer a sluggish Windows start menu. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, just a reminder if you want updates visit our site tac2dev.com and uh, yeah this is Isaac from Tac2 signing out.